Hey everybody, I'm Captain Zeus, and I'm here to do another review. I haven't done one in quite a while, but this one is on the edge of sleep. This is a Amazon Prime series that has dropped this week, starring the fan favorite Markiplier. Now, I love his channel, I love the videos that he makes, and he talked about it, a plan being changed, and was saying that The Edge of Sleep was a show that they needed to get into the top 10. So I was like, you know what? Let me check it out, because I saw that it's number six in the US right now. So I went ahead and took a look at The Edge of Sleep. So I'm gonna go ahead and review that. This is going to be a spoiler-free review. I might trickle in some spoilers here at the end, but for the most part, no spoilers are gonna be talked about here. If you guys like these reviews I do, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what show or movie you would like me to review next. Let's go ahead and get into this. Now, I will say, this show exceeded my expectations. This is no disrespect to Markiplier whatsoever, but I went into this thinking it's gonna be like a YouTube type of show where the quality isn't gonna be that great, except for maybe just the camera quality itself. I was pleasantly surprised about how good this was. Not only was the soundtrack amazing, I loved the soundtrack, but the cinematography was so unique. This show and the cinematography gave me A24 vibes. Like, I thought this was an A24 production for a little bit until I realized it wasn't. And the plot of it was had some good twists in there to keep you going. And it was only like, what, 10 episodes, 22 minutes each? So it's not like it was a super long show by any means. I will say the premise of the show was super interesting as well with the fact that everyone's just dying. Like, you're dying in your sleep. And it's not just in your sleep, you're dying because of a dream. And it all connects into... You know, the fact that Markiplier's character was having these dreams since he was a kid, the same ones that are killing people. You know, you're seeing these same things, uh, like these images of the elephant and the dream people. It's all tied together. And I apparently this is based off a podcast. I need to check this podcast out because the show came out very well. They also had some really good actors in there as well, and not just like any minor ones, some pretty big ones. You have Eve Harlow in there, who's best known for her roles in The 100 and Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D., as well as Franz Dr may i believe i'm saying his name right who played firestorm in the dc flash series as well as legends of tomorrow he was also on edge of tomorrow the movie as well as the gentleman and attack on the block so you have some pretty big hitters here in this show and they definitely help complement markiplier's acting which markiplier's acting was phenomenal like i've seen some of his youtube original stuff but this one was really good like his acting wise was so good if they cast markiplier in a movie or a show outside of like his own projects in the future dude i would be all on board with it the fan again the acting was great the show was like it wasn't too complicated it wasn't too crazy where it had you on the edge of your see i was thoroughly captivated and interested to see what's going to happen next especially with some of the cliffhangers that they left but honestly like this show was pretty good i'd watch it again if i didn't have anything else to do i wouldn't go out of my way to watch it again mainly because i don't know i feel like it was missing something it felt like there was more that could be could have been done in it especially with the ending where it basically showed that everyone had the mark of the beast which I feel like, and I could be just because maybe it's my Christian belief, but I feel like that was like a biblical implication of the fact that everyone's dying and they're getting this mark of the beast, the red triangle, and you know only a select few survive, and now there's gonna be this war with the with the people with the with the mark of the beast on them. So I feel like that was a little bit of like revelation implication there. Threw me off for a surprise there for sure, but nevertheless, pretty good show, really solid. I'd probably rate it like a good show as a whole, probably like seven, maybe a seven point five out of ten. It was definitely not what i was expecting the quality was freaking fantastic visuals soundtrack acting cinematography again can't get over that cinematography was great and i honestly have hope for like more markiplier projects i hope iron lung is just as good even though that's like his own project and i don't know what the correlation is between the two but i thoroughly enjoyed it would it have you guys seen it please let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the show if you have seen it i would love a season two of this show i'm captain zeus and i'll catch you guys later see ya